it for the world number ones. Five finals, winning four of them prior to this event. So this is their eighth final in 12 tournaments. And for Zhao Yunlei, this is her seventh final at Super Series finals. Because of course she was in the women's doubles final earlier today where she and partner Tian Qing lost to the Japanese pair of Matsutomo and Takahashi. Well, as I was saying, they have won all of their matches in two straight games. The semi-final was a repeat of uh, the Thursday group match against Mr. and Mrs. Adcock. And that, in fact, was the longest match that they've had so far, 39 minutes. That is extraordinary, isn't it? So they have been in wonderful form. Of course, Gabby Adcock wasn't terribly well yesterday. Couldn't give her best. But as far as the former World Junior Champions won the gold medal at the World Junior Championships in Guadalajara in Mexico four years ago. They were in stunning form last night when they beat the two-time defending champions and three times winners, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson. Number eight in the world ranking at the moment. And their semi-final was only 38 minutes. And look at the scoreline, 21-13, 21-12. So I think it is very fitting that we've got two pairs contesting the mixed doubles final who have come through the whole competition, the group stages, which are round robin, everybody plays everybody else, and, of course, the semi-final knockout stage, and neither pair has been beaten so far. So it's always nice, Morton, when we have a final with uh, players who have come through unscathed. I uh, couldn't agree with you more. I must admit I was very impressed. Uh, I did not see the match yesterday because it was uh, after our time on TV. But when the uh, the two youngsters here in the picture beat uh, the Danes, Fisher and Peterson, I was very impressed with the scores. Yeah. I must uh, admit that. Jakob Sinberg, our umpire from Denmark. Rohana yep. da Silva of Sri Lanka, our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Bao Yixin, Yu Cheng, China. And on my left, Xiao Yunlai, Sangman, China. Bao Yixin to Sir, to Sangman. Love all. Play. So the younger pair, Lu Cheng, 22, as indeed is Bao Yi Sin, against the world and Olympic champions, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei. Now this is the fifth meeting between these two pairs. On the previous four occasions, not only have the world and Olympic champions won on all four occasions, One, but they no. haven't dropped a game and the last time they played against each other I think Morton you and I watched that that was in the quarterfinal of the recent Hong Kong Open 21-16 21-9 it was very very convincing in this that second game but it's always funny I think sometimes when players or pairs get a, suddenly get a chance to play in an event because of course Unfortunately, the pair that ended the year number one on the destination Dubai list, ah, Zhu Chen uh, and Ma Jin, couldn't make it to Dubai, injury problems. And so, therefore, these youngsters in the yellow kit uh, got the call up because they were the uh, number eight ranked pair. But, of course, you're only allowed two pairs per nation, so oh, they weren't originally invited. Over. Yes. And so when what, a Chinese pair one, dropped out, they then did two. get the invitation. And I sort of thought, well, I wonder if they're properly prepared. They probably thought their year was over. How wrong I was. You know, I, I can't help replying like this. In 1992, Denmark was asked to play the European uh, Championship. Don't, don't you football. dare. Don't football. you dare. <laughs> and they went on to oh. win it. <laughs> and that's exactly the same situation. It is. You <laughs> rascal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all point between Morton and myself. Yeah. 
football. Yep. And why not? Nice. That is nice from Bao Yi Sin. Three, all. Shall we see? Oh. Mm, goodness, what Five, happened there? Three, <laughs> Too ambitious, I think. Yeah. Couldn't make her up her mind. have gone in the racket of Liu Cheng. Not an awful lot he could do about that. Yeah, he's a, did you see that? He looked at his racket before he played the shot. He knew the strings had gone. Olympic mixed doubles champion. He's sitting Six, in the crowd, three. happily watching his two pairs here. And he'll be interested to see how they do. And I can't help but think, uh. Morton, uh, you and I were discussing the other day about the potential and the merits of Bowie Sin and how she could potentially become one of the, the great uh. players. Seven, which, seven. Uh, that's a delightful shot from her Four. father, Liu yeah. Cheng. And I can't help but think, you know, we're uh, a little under two years away from the Olympic Games in Rio. I wonder who will be the, the more successful mixed doubles player come two years' time between the two women on court at the moment. Yep, that's a good question. Yeah. That's a very good I think that would be Bao Yusin. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised either. Uh, this is possibly a, a first, Six. not changing of the guard, because we don't know the result, but I think this is... This is the first sign. Yeah. Margin has been there for a while, but has not really been able to sort of overtake that position. It's been, no. it's been very close, but not really overtaking it. But the interesting Seven. part is that Xiang Nan is not that old. No, he's only 24. Four. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, why not partner those two? Mm. That had occurred to me too. <laughs> <laughs> Zhao Yunlei is 28 years of age. Eight, five. 
it'd be wrong for us. You know, we can't. I don't like to ever write a player off, but you know, there were signs in that women's doubles final. You were pointing out frailties in Xiao Yunlei. Yeah, in the women's doubles. In the women's doubles, obviously, that will only come into play later on in mixed doubles. Yeah. But there is no doubt that in, in terms of movement on court, inverted commas, she's struggling a little bit. <laughs> struggling is a hard word to use. Yeah. Nine. But we are talking Six. about the best of the best. And yeah. it's it's tiny little detailed differences that make the difference. Yes. Seven, nine. Just to finish that little discussion, I, I think that somehow Zhao Yunlei is a little bit more injury prone than many other players are. So that's, that's also one of the things I'm sort of looking at. So I've seen her been struggling and on a few occasions seven, seven, she had, have had to withdraw from tournaments ten, and so on because seven. of injuries. So, and she keeps playing two events as well, so it's, it's a very hard task to do. Mm. Well, that's an interesting point in itself. I wonder if come Rio Olympic Games that she will still be playing two events. Oh. 11, 7, interval. Well, it's a four-point advantage for Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei, this mid-game interval. And, of course, there's no coaching staff because two Chinese pairs playing against each other. But it makes no difference to, to you and me. We still don't understand it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to be a lot of discussion anyway. She's so good, isn't it? That was awesome. Fantastic. Very good interception here. Five straight points. 
That was going out too. Yes. Oh, he's Good defence. There were some nice interceptions in that rally from Bowie Sin. Good judgment on the back line there. Oh, what, what were the World and Olympic champions talking to the umpire about there? Who to receive, I think. Okay. Liu Cheng is really a little bit under pressure here. He's got to start producing uh, some of his wonderful smashes and, and attacking play because otherwise the much more experienced pair from China will run away with it. Yeah, it's found the line. Yeah, I, it's occurred to me, Morton, the fact Nine, that these two pairs 16. obviously train together in the National Training Centre. They've played against each other four times in international competition and the younger pair have never won even a game and so psychologically there might be a bit of a block as well because when we watched Liu Cheng earlier in the week we were astounded by how hard he was hitting it in fact you said he's probably smashing harder than any player yeah he's 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 definitely up there in in the top five ten whatever yeah in the world in terms of power and uh, but yeah. he's hardly getting a chance here and that's that's what they have to start do doing they've got to get it get the initiative get the attack so yeah. exactly that's, that's yeah. it. 10 17 around the back it will count at the back of the court there she did in the deep forehand corner here this yeah. is it she said that's a decent drive but look at that she's she had the opportunity to move forward but she stopped uh, just a little sign of what we just discussed earlier yeah that's a so super so turn of serve 18 11 One of the reasons why Xiang Nang and Cao Yun Lei is 1911 is also the fact that Cao Yun Lei is, is really controlling the net. She is she is making it very easy for her partner.
Croatia did well, Zhao Yun Lei, the drop shot, and immediately moved forward to allow Zhang Nan to go to the back of the court. And as soon as he got involved, he made the error. <laughs> well, yeah. This one here, in she goes. Yeah. yeah. That was the right thing to do, though, presumably. It was in his textbook. Yeah. Nice return and a nice way to bring up game, game point opportunities. 13. Yeah, that's a very good return. Oh, that was nice. the youngsters. No serve is just short. 21 15, the opening game. 21 15 in 20 minutes in favour of the world and Olympic champions. Considering the start, I think that was actually a decent score. Yeah. For the youngsters, they got all the way to 15. Yeah. At a certain stage, I thought it would be a lot less than that. Yeah, because they were 16-9 down, 16-8 down, actually. Mm. That's interesting. Who, who was the boss in that partnership? <laughs> Isn't it always the woman? <laughs> <laughs> Now come, now uh, come on. No, no, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Do apologise. You were all right. So. But I, I think she's right. I think what she's trying, you don't see it on the screen here. But I think she's right in what she's gesturing on the court while we're watching. Mm. Is that we have to get the attack. Yeah. She, she's sort of indicating lift is no good, we have to go for it. Yeah. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Second game, love all, play. Yes. Seven so over, one, love. Mm, clearly. Yeah.
Ten is over. It's long, so. It is One. quite remarkable, so, oh. Morton, in the fact that Zhang Nang and Zhao Yun Lei, this is only their fifth oh. full year together. They did actually play one tournament in 2009, the China Open. Uh, but it was really oh. 2010 they really started their partnership. Two. One. Five Super Series finals appearances, five finals. <laughs> Talk about consistency. Yeah, that's that pretty good. It's remarkable, isn't it? Two. Three, one. Unbelievable. How did you get that one back? <laughs> what a rally. Oh, it's landed in. She Seven deliberately seconds. left it. Bowie Sin thought it was going to go long. Yeah, but chances were good. Two, Just stopped three. short of the baseline there. Or oh, the defence of Liu Look, Cheng. That Look one. at that one. That one was good. Unbelievable. Play. Four, four. Five, all. Instinctive shot. Yeah, that was a good block. No! Seven, seven. Morton, I want your opinion about Jang Nan. Six. And the fact Five. that this year, instead of just concentrating wholeheartedly on the mixed doubles discipline, he's been playing men's doubles. And done really well. With Fu on Haifang. Yeah, on yeah, occasions. Yeah, they won the Denmark Open, didn't they? They did. Do you think it's good for him to be playing two events? 
or do you think come the Olympic qualifying period, Jiang Nang will just be playing the one discipline? Yeah. I think he will just be playing the one. But has the men's doubles Six. experience helped in oh. his mixed doubles development? I think it will always help. I think it will always help. Um, but, but somehow, I know they, him and Fu Haifeng did really well and won the Denmark Open. And then the, the following week in, in the French Open, they Seven. crashed Six. out quite early, as far as I remember. And, and, and somehow, because China is so good, I think if you're in a, in a discipline, you've got to make a difference or you have to be on your way up. And somehow, I don't see the, the partnership between Fu Haifeng and Chang Nang being a partnership they really, really want to push. Somehow, I don't know, but Seven. it's just a feeling. Oh. Mm. So, do you think that, obviously, uh, uh, the reigning Olympic champions, Kai Yon and Fu Haifeng, have both been put with younger Five. partners? And uh, do you think that they're using the experience of the former world champions and current Olympic champions to bring on younger players? So it's all thought process for maybe two years' time, because in two years' time, Li Xiao Yun Lei is still going to be playing. She's 28 now, mm. at the age of 30, will she still be playing the World Tour? Do they want, at the age of 26 in two years' time, Jiang Nan playing maybe men's doubles? That could be an option. Yeah. That could be an option. But at the moment, also as we've seen Hong Wei and, and Chai, uh, Chai Biao develop, mm. they have a lot of options, China. And, and I somehow think that they will stick to their guns with this mixed doubles who's, which is doing so well. a good backhand flat Ten. over the net from Jiang Nan. Look at that. Whipped it cross court. That's where I think Bao Yixin possibly have to move back a little bit to cover that one. Mm. I know she it's a very difficult situation for her because she's got to close down the net, but at the same time she's got to cover that cross one. And it's not easy. I, I totally accept that. But it was all almost too simple, and Nine, if you saw the replays, ten. she was kind of getting too close to the net and ducking, ducking a little bit. Yeah. Fast and furious Ten. rally. Ten. And it is the number one seed to have the one point advantage here at the mid game interval of the second game.
11, 10, play. Wasn't the best of serves, was no. it? I got out of trouble. No. Twelve, ten. At least he saved it himself. Nothing but a perfect shot would have been good enough. It was a very, very tight shot by Bao Yisin. Youngsters have to be careful here because this is four straight points for the World and Olympic champions. That's that. Just that. So that's 15, five. 10. And at 15 10. or even up the intensity at these crucial moments. A quick run of points makes a huge impact and it's a whole different complexion on the match. 17, Seven straight points. 10. Didn't this happen in the second game of the women's singles? Yes, I'm thinking. Mm. Yes, I think it did. Ten all, eighteen ten, eight yeah. in a row. And just three points away from a third Super Series finals title. Service <laughs> over. Eleven, eighteen. Do you think it's uh, a little bit too too little, too late here? Yeah. But I, I'm liking the fact <laughs> that the youngsters are still in their fighting. They they haven't capitulated. They they're still wanting to do well, wanting to win points.
Oh, that's nice. Service over. Yeah, I think this is just another 12. example of the fact that I honestly I don't think that Lu Cheng has been able to follow pace in this match. No. I think he has somehow been the weakest link. smash down the center of the court and that brings up eight match point, match point opportunities First time of asking 21 15, 21 12. In just under 40 minutes of play. So, a third Super Series finals title for Zhang Nan and Zhao Yun Lei. And no one took them over 40 minutes. No. That's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, she was disappointed with the women's doubles, Xiao Yun Lei. But the BWF Female Player of the Year, Xiao Yun Lei, has ended the year in fine style in this mixed doubles. Well, I'm sure we're going to see an awful lot more of Bao Yi Sin on the mixed doubles court, she's already been world number one in the women's doubles.